Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're going to be doing another, I guess you could say it's checking out our subscriber solar system but I don't know if I'll include it as part of the main series because this is basically a modified system of my custom solar system so in theory I was still the creator of it so in theory it's not a subscriber system but it is, I mean I don't know but yeah this is um from Benito, um, I'm sorry I really can't say the second name, M Mussolini, so yeah, Benito Mussolini, I hope I'm saying that at some point i hope i'm saying that close to being right oh, i don't i don't think i've got that right it's always apologies to that but yeah we're gonna go ahead and see what his like custom variant of my solar system looks like so he said yeah custom solar system is neptunian guys but i've added to it so let's go ahead and see what he has added to this so let's um uh, search it up and let's see what he has got here for us so here we go right Okay, so we've got a ton of stuff in here. Okay, so yeah, it's modified from the, um, as we can see, it's modified from the um, version that we had put up on the Steam Workshops so and me and Anomalous's version we put up. Um, so he's modified that. It's obviously got all the main stuff in it as well. So he's actually added a little bit to it as well. Okay, okay, cool. So after all of that stuff, so I find a little note to Neptune Go subscribers. Thank you for 755. Uh, oh, yeah, that was what I wrote. Yeah. Um, so far, far out. Far, what's far far out i know there's far out what's far far out is that an, is there another one now um thanks for being the credits so benita okay so there's one called far far out now okay so i'm interested to see what that is right so okay so there's a lot of added stuff in here so we can already see a planet 10 oh i'm loving that purple trail actually and we can also leave it to a a vote as well maybe i could use this for a few systems or something so there we go so we've got Haley's comet there on a ridiculously crazy orbit i mean look at that oh. That goes there. Does it really go out as far as Planet Nine? I did not. I did not. Does it really? Does it really? No, I need to look this up. That's. I want to know for sure. Does that actually do that? That's a very big orbit for Halley's Comet. But ooh, we've also got the Neptune has a custom trail as well. Okay, this is looking really good. Okay, so I'm gonna look at Halley's Comet quickly. Let's see. It's, let's see its orbit. Apparently, it only takes 75 years to go around the sun. I'm pretty sure that isn't. I'm pretty sure that orbit shouldn't be that extreme. I think that's a little too much. Honestly, by the looks of what I'm looking at, it goes as far as Neptune's orbit. So I think that's a little over... I think that's overdone it a bit, I have to say there. But yeah, it's not really too much of a big deal. That can be changed easily. But anyways, let's go ahead and see. Okay, so Mercury... Okay, so Mercury's slightly different by the looks of it. Has it, has it got a custom texture on it or something? Let's see here. It's looking more grey. I think this is an updated version that Anominus made, actually. Now seeing it in video, it actually looks really good. Um, like this, I have to say. Instead of being, like, the brownish colour, it's actually all grey, the way it should be. That's actually looking really, really good, actually, as a custom Merc. Because I haven't actually shown this off in a video before. I've not, I've known about it, but I've just never really... I haven't really seen it in Universe Sandbox myself. And that's actually looking really, really good. So that's actually one of Anominus's ones, I believe, um, right there. So that's actually looking really good. Then we have the custom Venus right here so okay, go on the venus there we go so this is the um banded gas giant with the clouds on it so right here it's actually looking really really cool so yeah there we go that actually does look really good i remember that one we've got that in the systems and we have earth here this has a custom blue on it right here but yeah that's um it right there there we go then we got mars out here mars still looking the same guessing the asteroid belt objects are the same yeah series all of these guys nothing changed there Jupiter, that's the same old custom Jupiter we have normally. Saturn is the same custom Saturn, okay. And with these guys, I'm assuming the same. Uranus, how are you looking? Okay, so, oh, Uranus, what's happened to Uranus? What's that white band do? Okay. Huh. That's quite an interesting take on Uranus. It's, the, the blue is slightly darker there. But that white band, that's interesting, actually. Quite a big white band. Not sure if I'm the biggest fan of that one, I have to say. But that's just my opinion. So, um, yeah, don't take it as a fact. But, yeah, that, that's that's compared to my Uranus. So, it's obviously a lot more darker and pale in colour. But, like I've said many times before, I, I do like my one to be quite vibrant in colour. So, my one isn't the most realistic after all. But, yeah, the, the colour blue, or the, the blue, the main blue looks quite good. But, not sure about that white band. It does look a little funny like the regular Uranus in the game. But, it's not really too much of a big deal there. But, then the Neptune. Let's see what the Neptune has. Okay, so this one's got a interesting white band on it as well. Huh, there it is. So here's the Neptune. Doesn't it actually looks pretty decent, I think, this one here. Got that white band. is a little outstanding, though, for my liking as well. But yeah, there it is. The blue is looking pretty um, on point as well. It's got some darker bands on it as well there. But I, I really like the trail colour for it there. So there's that. 
Okay, now moving on. Pluto is... Okay, Pluto's the same. Iris is the same. Okay, so I'm guessing all the other dwarf... Okay, so... Oh, there's a green one. What, a green one? What was that? I just clicked on a green one. Mate makes very, very red now. Orcus. Oh, Orcus is green. Okay. Interesting. So there's that. Any of these other guys? Okay, so they're looking all the same. So we have Iris. Yeah, that, I would really click on that one. Okay, so planet ten. So this is this is this one. So it's a crazily banded object, as we can see here. So here it is here. So it's going. I really like the trail for it. I have to say, it's got a very very big amount of bands as well here, as you can see. Actually, is very similar to one of my um, banded objects I have. Actually, let me just search up banded. It's quite similar to banded eleven, which I've had for quite a long time. Oh. Oh, it's the same. It's the same. Okay. So yeah, banded. So this planet ten is the same as my banded planet. I've I've had that save for a while. I, I don't know um, who made this actually. I have to say, but yeah, he's got this um, custom planet ten in the system here. So I'm not I'm not sure. I can't say anything about the orbit or anything. I have no clue what its orbit stats are supposed to be like, or if it's even supposed to be a gas giant or a rocky planet. Because planet ten is all theoretical. Like there's not really much. Um, about it that I know at all. I mean, Planet Nine, that's slightly like that one actually. Um, I think that one slightly got higher chances of being real than Planet Ten because I haven't heard anything about Planet Ten at all. But I have seen a lot more about Planet Nine, so yeah, I, I don't know. But then we have Far Far Out. I, I I think I've heard of this once. I don't know if it's legit or not. I know the regular Far Out here. I know that's I know that's actually a real object. 2018 VG18 Far Far Out. I, I, I can't tell you if it's real or not. I, I don't know. So you guys can help me out in the comments with that one. But yeah, there's that. Then we have 7 out here. Still the same old red. Then we have the Planet 9. And then the Goblin as well, which I assume is yeah also the same. But yeah, Halley's Comet. That's definitely too far out from what I, I, I knew for a fact, I'm sure. I'm sure it don't go that far out. Because I'm pretty sure I've seen it in the game before. But yeah, there we go. So that is this whole version of the custom solar system done. So I have to say, I really like Mercury, that updated Mercury. But yeah, it's looking good. I reckon with the grey atmosphere, it would look even better. But that's just my preference again. Remember, anything I say, it's all opinion, not fact. So yeah, please keep that in mind. But yeah, there we go. So that is Benito Mussolini's custom version of my custom solar system. So yeah, guys, let us know what you think down below of the um, custom solar system here. Got some um, interesting objects in there, obviously, as well. The Uranus and Neptune do look... Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm split opinion on that at the moment myself. But yeah, there are those. And yeah, there we go. So yeah, pretty interesting uh, lineup of objects here. Also, you got some of the. Uh, that's very, very green. And we have. Um, I do. I'm, I like that make make after. That. It's pretty interesting. I know make make's supposed to be a little red, but yeah, I'm liking that. But, yeah, there we go. So that is um, this version of the custom solar system done. So we have only, uh, we've only done one of these before, where someone showed their own custom solar system. But this is a version of mine and anonymous's like one. So. Yeah, let us know what you think down below on this version, guys. And, yeah, let us know what you think of the Planet 10 and all that um, as well. The new objects which aren't, haven't been shown before. But, yeah, there we go. So, that is it for today's video, guys. So, like I said, let us know what you think down below in the comments. And, yeah, subscribe if you're new. Helps on the journey to 9,000 subscribers. A massive thank you to everyone who has recently subscribed as well. And, yeah, guys, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.